Welcome back to Contenders 15. Here we go with Aaron Hollows in the black and white shorts and Tarek Pell in the white tight shorts as we kick off ready for this three minute welterweight competition in amateur MMA. Aaron. Tarek on top straight to mount. Looking to do some damage. Looks over to his corner there. Showcasing of an exceptionally smart fighter. Listening to his coaches. Aramite looked to kick off the cage as Tarek manoeuvres him away. Aaron doing a good job there of locking down the half guard. Trying to work to full guard here. Aaron now in full guard on the bottom. Tarek looking to pass and do some damage from the top. Aaron diligently working on the back, using that overhook there on Tarek's right arm to limit the damage coming down from the top. Oh, Aaron looking for the sweep, uses it to get up, beautiful stuff. Got to wonder about the confidence now of Aaron on the bottom there, was able to stand up, was able to dictate where the fight goes, back to the feet. Tarek gained the mount. So let's see if Tarek wants to take this fight back to the ground. As if, yeah, he's striking some nice strikes on the inside. Oh, big head kick there from Tarek. The confidence showing on Tarek Pell's face. Now he's almost talking to Aaron. Oh, as Aaron comes in with some bombs to answer that question. Aaron's corner shouting out, watch for the guillotine. And he listens perfectly, pulls his head up. Looking for the takedown. Nice strike in there, in the scramble. As we come to the end of this first round. Some beautiful skills showed there by Tarek on the floor, Mark. And Aaron, showcasing that he can stand up. Two underway, Aaron Hollows versus Tarek Pell. Thus far, Pell showing showcases oh. some beautiful striking skills. Got to be careful. And he's got to keep things tight. Oh. oh, damaging kicks on the ground there. Referee calling for a timeout there. Tarek looks confident on his feet. Not sure what that timeout was for on the ground, but we get back underway. Nice inside kick there by Aaron. Tarek's hands are dropping. That's a nice strike, though. So. Some nice head movement there by Pell. Seems to have grown with confidence, Mark. Absolutely. How these rounds have gone on. Absolutely. Stuffing that takedown attempt as well. Oh, very nice. Tarek using that 100% to manoeuvre. Aaron down to the floor, taking the mount again. Let's see if he's got the energy this time to get back to, to full guard and maybe stand up. Quite complacent on the bottom is Aaron. He needs to start working out his position because if Pell can posture up, he can rain down punches from this position. What should he be doing in this position? Aaron from the bottom needs to really start thinking about bucking and getting some space in between him 
and Tarek. He can't afford to sit there and lay and pull the person on top of him. He can't do that because he'll stay where he is. And he's, there we go, just like you said there. He maneuvered his legs out into the half guard now. He needs to turn into Tarek to finish this position. Works back to full guard, beautiful full guard. stuff. Impressive, yeah. Aaron really complacent there on the bottom. He's, he's happy to maneuver on the bottom. And the referee looking for the stand up. And you could questionably say that both of these fighters would advance in the stand up. Yeah. Tarek's shown them those jujitsu skills on the bottom. Again, see if he pops straight amount, just slips that leg across. Now to side control. As the round ends, wow. That's an interesting round. Some dominant. Wrestling and jiu-jitsu skills being displayed by Pell. Aaron able to defend, able to stand up from the bottom, but is he doing enough damage thus far for the judges if it goes there? He needs to turn up in this last round. Absolutely, he's not really landed any, anything damaging at all on, on Pell. Um, Pell, he's got two takedowns. Okay, he's been, he's been worked back to full guard and stood up again. But he's also landed the most damaging strikes on the feet. And you have to think he's gonna be confident going into this final round, but Aaron, Hallows, he's got to come out and land something damaging early on, I think. Get some confidence. Round three of two minute rounds here in the welterweight division. Amateur MMA here contenders. Aaron Hollows, oi! That's a oh. oh, that's hurt oh, he's, he's, he's hurt. Him up now. Tarek is lighting Aaron up here. He needs to keep that distance, start firing off those shots. Don't give Aaron time to recover. Aaron must be wondering what he can do. He's gonna look for the takedown, no doubt. He does seem to be outclassed on his feet. Got to be careful throwing those kicks to Zaram in case he gets taken down again. Pell seems to be like he's keeping his distance. He yeah. wants to stay in striking range. Turning back kick attempt. Nice left hook. Aaron opting to stay on top. Be careful of that head. He's got to really work here though. He's going to make uh, a winning position of this fight. He needs to do something decisive. He needs to finish this fight. Absolutely. Nice body shot there by Pell. He seemed to wince. If Aaron can posture up and start to do some damage from the top, he might get a stoppage. Oh, oh Tarek Pell able to stand up. Hello's looking very tired. Very damaging shots here from Pell. Loves that left hook, overhand right. Mm, that big overhand right, he loves throwing that. Pouring out with that jab is Tarek. Looking for that right hand. Aaron timed that beautifully underneath the punch. But unfortunately, Pell just able to maneuver in the wrestling capabilities and end up with Aaron underneath him. Yeah. He's looking now to isolate an arm from the top position. You know, a fairly dominant show from Pell, you have to say. Allos has really failed to land anything damaging at all. He's just holding on now. Pell back on top, doing some damage. In the arm, just waiting for the time. I think Tarek knew he was up yeah. on the scorecards, just controlled the fight, didn't open himself up too much damage, kept that distance, came in, land the shots, and then got back out of the distance again. Didn't want to make the mistake of getting caught by one of Aaron's bombs. Able to just switch him over on the ground, gain that full mount again. But let's see what the judges have. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a unanimous decision. Your winner in the blue 